hello and welcome to this another very interesting video in this video we will try to implement a low pass fir filter using xilinx vivado system generator so as you can see we are in the simulink library browser and we are importing different blocks for our design so the xilinx vivado system generator is basically a dsp which is a digital signal processing so it is a, D a dsp design tool from xilinx that integrates with MATLAB Simulink environment for designing and implementing DSP systems as a block diagram. Now, first we are taking the FDA tool. So the FDA tool means the filter design and analysis tool. So this block is used for spe specifying the filter parameters. We have also taken the gateway in and gateway out block so the gateway in block is used to transfer the data from the simulink environment to the fpga design so it acts as the input port for the hard hardware design capturing the data from the simulink model and passing it into the fpga for processing it also handles the conversion of data from simulink floating point representation to the fixed point representation which is used in FPGA then gateway out blocks do the reverse process so they transfer data from the FPGA back to the simulink environment we, we, we have also used the FIR compiler 7.2 so FIR compiler 7.2 is a xilinx block for effective implementation of your FIR filter now we will also take the sinks and the sources so we will also add a spectrum analyzer block so this block will help us to see the frequency response of our filter we have also taken a random number block as the input signal block we have also taken a terminator block the terminator block is used to terminate the unused output ports or signals in a design so in the synthesis process the terminator block ensures that the unused signals don't create unnecessary logic helping to optimize the hardware implementation so as you can see we have taken these various blocks now we will connect them and first we will do their characteristic or we will let or we will try to change their characteristics according to our diagram so let me first arrange these different blocks and this is a block diagram so it will help us to properly connect these various blocks and see the frequency response of the filter so first we have the random number so we are taking the variance as 2 to the power 20 and sample time is 1 now the gateway in block so as you can see we are using a fixed point 20 bits and binary point is 0 the sample period here also is 1 now we will use the FDA tool so FDA tools is the filter design and analysis, analysis tools used for specifying the filter parameters so we are designing a low pass filter for FIR with a density factor of 16. The pass frequency is 10, the stop, stop frequency is 100. So this is a direct form FIR filter of the order of 27. This is the filter components. Now we will export them to our design so we will click on the export button after clicking on the design filter button so we will ex explore these variables or we will export these variables so click on export to export the variables so the variables have been exported now we will use these variables to implement the filter using the FIR compiler 7.2 block so as you can see here we have defined the filter coefficients 
which are coming from our FDA tool block. We will also define the implementation. So we have defined the coefficient width as 20. And we will also define the register and this convert block. So again here also again the number of bits are 20. So this has the same parameters as the register block of the previous. So as you can see this is the spectrum analyzer block. So we will uh, do the settings for this spectrum analyzer block also. So we are using a shabby shab window to design our FIR filter. We have a choose a linear scale and as you can see when we run it then we are getting this response of our FIR filter. So this is the frequency response of our FIR filter. We can zoom it also. So the FIR filters have the property to give a perfect linear phase response which is a which means that all the frequency components of the input signal are delayed by the same amount of time. So we can again change the filter parameters using the FDA tool and we can again uh, redesign the filter using the FDA compiler. So these all uh, can be 